welcome to Transfer Weekly presented by Virgin Media. Let's blast through some of today's hottest transfer rumours. First and foremost, everyone's going mad at Arsenal. Literally every centre forward in the world being linked at the moment. Loic Remy, Danny Welbeck, Falcao, Alessio Cherchi, uh, all potential Giroud cover. We've got Daily Blint being linked to Man United for £18 million. Pounds. Southampton prep and bid for Toby Alderweireld and Jordi Classic and Feyenoord. Fernando Torres' wages potentially holding up a move to AC Milan. Chelsea in talks with Mattia Destro. And Man United preparing an audacious 20 million bid for Liverpool's Joe Allen. Um, we, <laughs> we have, of course, Ray Parler uh, in, in the studio and Andy Brassel. And we're joined by Footy Writer as well. Um, because you're our transfer expert, Mr. Writer. Yes. Um, let's start with uh, <laughs> Arsenal and the centre forward links. Um, any of that stand out to you? Um. I like Falcao. I'm, I'm sure a lot of Arsenal fans like Falcao. It, the move makes sense. It won't materialise. It makes sense <laughs> for everyone. Um, in terms of which move make, uh, has the best chance of happening, it has to be uh, Remy. Because uh, getting for a decent price, lives in London, happy to go across, wants, wants a team in the Champions League. Um, so that all adds up. Yeah. That all makes sense. Okay. Um... I mean, would you be would you be happy with someone like that? Well, oh, Welbeck's been uh, mentioned as well, but Vermeulen, you know, he looked like he was mm. going to Manchester United. Whether Manchester United said, well, they didn't give us Vermeulen, so we're not going to give him Welbeck. We'll have to wait and see. But Remy, look, I don't think he's the the answer, but at the moment, they're desperate. They need yeah. strikers to come into the club with Drew, Drew being out. Falcao, as you rightly say, is, is, is that player with a wow factor. Uh, and the, the Arsenal fans will definitely be excited about it if you could get him. But, you know, he's more likely to go to, uh, to, to Arsenal with me, yeah. OK, and just, just quickly on that, Andy, obviously he, he failed a medical with Liverpool. Perhaps, but it's just so subjective, the question of medicals and, uh, and Premier League clubs, because it's not like NBA where there's a standard two-day medical where you have to tick certain boxes. It's all about whether the club decides whether it's a risk worth taking. And he passed it, one at Newcastle. That, that, that's, Although, that's in fairness, right. Newcastle's policy is, are you fit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brilliant common but, side. But, but then again, of course, Maiga uh, failed one at uh, Newcastle and uh, passed one at West Ham, and aren't they pleased with that? But I, I, I think you have to look at Remy and say, he's, he's played an entire Premier League season, he's, he's scored goals, and he's really good in the air as well. And yeah. I, I think he's just got the ideal um, profile to cover for Giroud, like Churchy doesn't make any sense. He's not a similar sort of player. Yeah, okay. Uh, Fernando Torres is just holding up a Milan move. Uh, you were saying that he's on a on a pretty hefty wage yeah. at Chelsea yeah. at the moment. Uh, in excess of one hundred and fifty thousand, around <laughs> one hundred and eighty, they they reckon. And uh, AC Milan wants to pay eighty six thousand for him, which is still a ridiculous amount. Which of money. leaves Chelsea with five million to spend. To ha- they have to give Milan five million to pay his wages, basically. Now, is that a risk worth taking? For Torres, certainly, because he needs to reinvent himself and he's not going to do it at Chelsea anymore. Um, for Milan, 86 grand in Syria, it's still big money. And uh, 100 grand, Chelsea have to subsidise. It's a lot. It's a little bit like Adebayor, isn't it? When he went to uh, Spurs, Man City yeah. were you know, paying Madrid a lot of his well, wages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, but we've, we've, the only problem we've got with Chelsea is they've got no backup. You know, mm. If Diego Costa does get injured, Jogba, that's really the only striker they've got if they let Torres go. Yeah. Denver Bar's moved on. Yeah. So I, I think Jose Mourinho will keep Torres yeah. um, and, and suffer the wages. And, and Maybe if he does get inj- an injury, he can come back into the side. Mm. I actually thought that Serie A would be a perfect move for Torres mm. two years ago, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you, you don't need pace yeah. to be a great forward in, uh, <laughs> in Italy, do you? Uh, okay, last but not least, an audacious bid from Manchester United, reportedly <laughs> £20 million. For Joe Allen, surely, surely nonsense. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it has to be. 20 million. I mean, Joe Allen's a good player when he's playing, but Manchester United for 20 million, United fans won't have that. It's not not going to I believe happen. the word would be <laughs> <laughs> their fan base if they signed in for 20 million. Pounds. Yeah, and uh, obviously Liverpool to Man United as well, it's questionable, so I don't think I can't see it happening. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think Joe Allen's, Joe Allen's grown as a Liverpool player, and he, he does seem to be finding his. his Finally, on Merseyside, but let's hypothetically twenty million pound Liverpool. They would be. Would they be tempted? Do you think? I'm not convinced they would. I mean, it's, it's clearly. He is also area. Brendan's love child. <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> right, there is that. Uh, I think it's, it's an area they need to strengthen in. So you can understand why the rumours come up. But really, United need proper cast iron world class at this point. 
Yeah, and that's what they need, and I'm afraid Alan just won't do. No, good enough for Liverpool, though, thanks. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to wrap that up there. For the latest transfer news and rumours, stay tuned at Footy Writer on Twitter and at Ball Street, of course. And later this week, we've also got the Arsene Wenger trolley dash. Yes, it's as, uh, it's as fascinating as it sounds to do. Go and check that video out as well. When you get to the till. <laughs> so, you know what? Let's get them both in. Why not? It's a big basket. Kadira yeah. and Cavalier. Oh, wow, that's going to be a big basket. I think we need two strikers more